This is the future. future well hi guys and welcome back to my channel and this is episode 2 of minecraft and uh, on today's episode we are going to be stripping away the mountain and uh, yeah I've gone quite far at this point but um, for this episode we're just going to show you what I did with the mountain and I actually realized a bit too late that I made a kind of a mistake, if I can put it just like that, but we'll make it work. And uh, it's because of this that I realized it takes too long to actually strip away the entire mountain. And that's why I decided to build the castle in the mountain and not strip away the inside as well to make it level or so on, you know. So I'm just going to show you the process that I used to strip away the one section of the mountain. So before we start, I just want to thank you guys for watching this video and I hope you're going to enjoy it. Give this video a like and subscribe to my channel and remember to hit that bell icon so that you can get notified of my further uploads. Feel free to check out my updated website and or join my Facebook group to get behind the scenes info. And uh, believe it or not, it took me almost three hours just to make space. So the reason for making the space was to, you know, if you think about this, if there's bad guys, if there's enemies, you don't want them to climb on the mountain and then jump into your castle wall. So I had to take about five meters or actually five blocks space around my castle walls that I had to open up to make sure that I can have a safe space where I can have my castle standing alone and where enemies cannot enter my castle walls. So to do that I have to open up everything. Now the first time I dig the hole like here I actually went too far. I didn't realize how far I was digging until it was too late. But yeah, that's one of those learning curve things, you know, and learn as you go. After splitting the first line, I had to split the second line to get myself a starting point um, of where the castle walls are. So as you guys can see, this really took a long time. And uh, also one thing that I did realize when you play this game, you go in with one set of mission in your mind, like for now, just digging out the mountain. And then something pops up and you start thinking of, hey, maybe I should do this or do that. And then you kind of go off track and you would first go and uh, maybe fix something or build something uh, because I tend to worry that I'm going to forget to do whatever I thought of at that moment. So that moment I would maybe do something totally different and then come back to what I was busy with once I'm done. So as you guys can see here, ah, burn baby burn. This is the reason for the magma rocks around my castle, to make sure all these baddies get what they deserve. <laughs> okay, as you guys can see at this point, we have our guideline. Now we have to take away this whole piece of mountain this way and the whole piece of mountain that way. And like I said, I decided to do the whole mountain, but after doing this for a while, realizing how much work this actually is, I decided five blocks was more than enough space around my castle to make it safe. I'm definitely not going to show you guys the whole process, it's kind of boring. So at this point I decided to cover up the cave. Um, and that's where I got the idea of planting grass. Um, 
the other side of the castle where the trees are I took away a whole piece of mountain there as well and that's why I realized this is actually a very big job and it takes actually a long time to do but I do like the grass everywhere so I decided to cover up everything with grass and then after that to start with um, basically I'm chopping away the rest of the mountain at this point I just started to chop away the mountain and uh, yes it took me about another hour or so just to do that it was at this point where I realized taking out the whole mountain is going to take way too long and that's why I decided five blocks is more than enough and I started to make a line through the mountain to give myself a reference point and a guideline so that I can take away only the chunk that needs to be taken away After chopping away the entire base of the mountain, I decided to cover up the cave. But I decided to use these glowstones because I was thinking that if ever I want to come into the cavern system underneath the castle, it'll be nice to have a nice light source shining down into the cavern, making it easier to see. So I covered up this entire floor section with glowstones. I then decided to start planting grass all over the place to hide the glowstones and also to change this entire flooring with grass. While planting the grass I also got the idea of covering up those blank spots with more magma rocks just to make it more even and make it look much better than it did at the moment. Also giving it a double wall, making sure that nothing can climb up on top of the magna stones or get close to my castle walls without burning to death. Now it's time to get rid of all these stones and plant grass everywhere. After about almost half an hour planting grass, we finally came to take away the rest of the mountain. I promise you guys at this point I was totally fed up with digging and chopping stones and digging out mountains. But this was the end result. I don't know why I climbed into the tree. Oh, this is when I got the idea of building a very high tower. So that's still coming. But yeah, look how beautiful that section is now. No mountain, grass is planted and the castle wall is safe. No enemies can jump from the one side of the mountain into my castle walls. So I thought of a final piece, oh, well I still have to chop out this whole section of mountain. This was going to be in my next episode. And uh, I thought for my final touch I wanted to plant some trees again. So I chose one of each tree and I planted it to see what the trees look like. Basically the same as what I did here, I'm going to do there.
I realized how big these cherry trees get, so I didn't want to put it too close to this tree, otherwise it's going to grow into the other tree like that one. So I decided to build the, or decided to put the cherry tree on top of the section of mountain that was left. And that's it guys, that's it for this episode. On the next episode, I will show you how far the trees have grown. And we're also going to take away one mountain and also put in some safety features. So if you like this video, remember to subscribe to this channel, ring the bell icon so you can be notified of any further uploads and give me a thumbs up. Until next time guys, cheers.